In today's video, we're going to be going over the number one meta here on Prisons. Now, I've just recently been informed about the new meta. Once you unlock Prestige 3, or well, I'm at 4 now, but once you get to Prestige 3, everything changes with some new enchants that you get. I was under the impression that I wanted to continue having my Jackhammer hot streak, and that was literally the only hot streak I want. But what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take this off, and we're going to enable the trigger finger one. We're going to start with that. And as we get into the video, I'm going to continue to explain this strategy, but there are a couple things that we actually need to go ahead and do first now the first one we don't actually have to do it's kind of optional but it definitely will make you more money so what we're gonna go ahead and do is buy some hidden treasures because if you guys don't know what those do basically guys is what it does is you can use hidden treasures to essentially over max different enchants so if i want to get this obviously you know you can only get your enchants up to level 20 unless you use hidden treasures down there it says hidden treasure required to unlock you can use hidden treasures to over max these all the way up to level 25 plus a little bit more tokens i am gonna have to buy more tokens because holy crap this stuff is expensive mixed with this backpack that somebody has so nicely gone ahead and loaned me right here this backpack is overpowered i made a video on it uh a, i don't know a couple weeks ago and this thing is absolutely insane i'm gonna go over all this here in a little bit we're gonna go ahead and withdraw 10 gc right now as you guys oh zero gc whoa 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 whoa. okay 800 there that sounds more like it if you guys didn't watch the gc coin flipping video you wouldn't uh well you wouldn't know if you didn't watch it but we won a whole bunch of gc by coin flipping it was literally the luckiest i've ever been so we're gonna go ahead and send this guy the code that it should be for 10 gc right there i'm gonna go to my plot and then uh send him a trade request all right he's supposed to be putting in okay it's all in a uh uh shulker box okay thank you i'm gonna say thank you and we're gonna place this down and boom one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen there we go thirteen hidden treasures so the next thing i'm gonna go ahead and do is buy some tokens okay they're not very expensive uh literally 12 gc can get me like 12 million 12.8 million tokens like that is absolutely insane so we're gonna go ahead and buy a bunch of tokens just like that there we go we have two stacks of 100k tokens right there we're gonna go ahead and redeem both of those oh wait 14 oh i had a little bit before actually and huge shout out to this guy by the way he's been hooking me up he's the one who let me borrow his sacred backpack and he's the one who's been teaching me the methods okay he's this guy knows what he's doing so we're gonna listen to him he's gonna tell me what to overmax with these hidden treasures because honestly i don't know what i want to overmax first i need a little bit of a help i'm not the greatest prisons player i'm not gonna lie and also i know you guys aren't really liking the pay to win stuff yeah i agree it kind of does ruin the gameplay but i'm pretty sure the new season is coming soon and uh i don't i don't know about all the content that i can make you guys don't want to watch me grind when i'm so far behind and stuff so yeah the pay to win is 100 going to be going away once the next season starts all right so you went ahead and told me shout out to imposter for telling me what to put the hidden treasures on we're gonna go ahead and start using those uh, or these we're gonna drag them on here first thing we want to do is excavator firebomb we want to get this to level 25 so we're gonna go ahead do this all the way here 22 we're gonna get to 23 oh yo it's the dude the the leader of my skyblock island look at that bro what's up bro <laughs> all right anyways let's continue to go ahead and add these on and this should be the last one we have to do for firebomb okay there we go we have this max at level 25 now or we should anyways i don't know why it's not showing up hold on oh okay now i have to go ahead and upgrade it gotcha that's what it does okay i didn't realize that's how it works okay so, so we're gonna go ahead and do uh do i even have excavator uh, 20 i don't know we're gonna go ahead and upgrade all of this there we go because so we have level 25 now that's perfect look at that the first little bit of red on this pickaxe you see the red 25 there that looks awesome okay so the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is throw on some more hidden treasures onto backpack auto sell where is that at auto sell backpack we're gonna want to go ahead and do that because the backpack is going to be filling up so much uh with this method i'm about to show you guys all right last one onto backpack auto sell right here and then we can go ahead and start to upgrade this boom and now basically my uh backpack will auto sell every three seconds which is awesome then we're just gonna go ahead and throw the rest on lucky mining so let's go ahead and look for that where is lucky mining at right here and the final one right onto lucky mining there we go and we're gonna upgrade that as much as we can i think this is just to get more lucky blocks and tokens and stuff let's go ahead and upgrade this just like that and i have way too many tokens left over i did not have to spend that much on tokens but i guess we have a bunch left over i don't know so now basically the best way i can describe uh describe this strategy is is what i want to do i think i already activated the hot streak on trigger finger you want to do this if you have not already and you're basically Basically just going to want to mine until your hot streaks activate and once your hot streaks activate you're going to want to go ahead and buy one of these from the uh merchant in skull island i believe you could probably get them off the auction house as well they probably sell them on here all over the place yeah there's like a bunch right here for one gc each but you're going to want to do a private mine so nobody else can mess up the strategy so basically once you get into the private mine and your hot streaks are activated you want 
to mine in like rows like this so literally just one layer at a time and then you wait for excavator firebomb to proc and then it will literally continue to break this whole thing and the blocks will be replaced by i don't know what it is if it's trigger finger or if it's his backpack or it's something and then you want to dig down like 10 blocks go like this and then start mining out another single layer right here like this or something i don't know guys i'm gonna go ahead and start mining this out and i will bring you guys back when uh when this actually starts working and i can kind of start to explain it better all right guys the trigger finger hot streak has just started if you take a look at the top of the screen right there you can see eight seconds ago we actually had it started so if i quickly go ahead and look you guys can see it is in fact the trigger finger hot streak it, is, it says right here broken blocks have a 100 chance to be instantly replaced so uh, this is going to be super overpowered. We're going to go ahead and claim the private mine. I've never used the private mine, so this is going to be really interesting to see what this is like. Okay, so it literally just looks like this. This is a little bit different. Uh, Okay, that's fine. So I was told this is what we want to do is we want to literally mine in rows. So we're going to go like this, and uh, I need to wait for like excavator or something to proc. And once it does, basically is what happens is firebomb is going to go off as well. And then when firebomb and excavator go off, the uh, trigger finger hot streak is going to replace 100% of those blocks, and firebomb will never go away because all the blocks will be replaced and it will be continued to uh, essentially be replacing the blocks and it'll just keep going so it'll be giving me so many blocks it'll ma all make sense once i show you guys here in a minute when it actually procs okay i think we have a, a excavator proc down there i don't really know what to do though i'm still supposed to keep mining in rows or what i don't i'm not exactly sure oh my whole thing filled up oh no i don't know what to do and also this is really bad because reboot is in two minutes so usually re uh, doing it right when reboot happens is a bad idea because it's going to reset everything hopefully this is still going to be fine though okay we have a tnt here i don't know if this is going to do it firebomb went off um, uh, bro, this is so confusing because why is this not working? Oh my gosh, wait, I think it's starting to work. Okay, I didn't even realize, but as you guys can see, the firebomb has gone off just by me mining these rows. Yep, it's starting to work, I'm pretty sure, because look at all the blocks automatically being broken and uh look how much this is starting to spread look at the firebomb oh my gosh we have a perfectly flat row here i don't even know if i'm supposed to mine the tnt i've been trying to get it to work for so long but yeah we're literally dropping gold shards everywhere bro i need to pick these up we've mined forty-two thousand blocks already so this is actually a really good strat oh my gosh the whole mine is filled with fire and usually that fire will go out within like five seconds i believe but it stays because there's blocks regenerating and then instantly being broken by the firebomb so as you can see we're already at 51,000 blocks mine look at the blocks mine on the side 53 54 it just continues to go up this is absolutely insane 55 we're almost at 56 dude this is something else i thought i was doing it wrong for a second because the strat wasn't completely working at first because i don't know i just couldn't get it to proc but now oh my gosh those are all gold shard blocks right there that i could go mine but i don't want to mess up the strat so we're not going to mine any gold shard blocks we're going to make this completely flat over here so we can get this uh at the maximum uh speed for everything we're going to make sure this everything is flat and uh yeah as you guys can see we already have 73k blocks mined and uh normally dude i I've, my hot streaks have been going for eight minutes and this literally started like a minute ago with this uh this whole firebomb thing dude at the rate if this keeps going at the rate it's going right now which it should there's no reason why it should stop until my hot streaks are over we're gonna have like a million blocks mine dude this is absolutely insane if, dude this is something i've never seen this before my inventory literally or my backpack literally just filled up too i heard the sound effect or whatever look at all of the gold shards i'm getting too oh my gosh okay so now i was told to do the same thing except i'm supposed to go down i'm supposed to dig down and do another layer like 10 blocks down so i don't exactly know how how i'm supposed to do that we're gonna go like down here and just go around like this because i know it has to be a flat layer so i just want to try to get another firebomb thing going oh my gosh my inventory keeps filling up this is absolutely insane so this is basically how the strategy works guys my excavator is proccing so much this is basically the meta once you hit prestige three i believe because then you can unlock firebomb i believe then okay wait i think we got another one going okay so this is perfect i think is what i can do as well as i can mine one more up so i can actually get in here this is fine but it's just going to be only one row this isn't the well i guess this is my only option because i have to get in here to mine out the rest but we've got a little bit of firebomb going here once i mine out even more blocks this is completely flat on this layer we're gonna have even more going and uh, as you can see my mana is barely being used so i still have 72 mana when my hot streak started and this whole firebomb thing started i literally had 80 so we've barely gone down and that's because this backpack we have right here this should literally go for like an hour by the way guys because of this backpack you guys can see the spirit right there has a 0 0.1 chance uh percent chance to get mana the percent chance seems really low but you got to think about how many blocks are really being broken right now like we're at a quarter million already and i'm only 12 minutes into my hot streaks and this whole firebomb thing started around eight minutes so it's really only been like four minutes 
and we're barely losing mana because of the amount of blocks we're breaking and this backpack gives you more mana every single time or well not every single time but um, some of the time when you break blocks like you have a small chance but you know it offsets that small chance because of how much we're actually breaking so right now we're getting the second row of fire bomb out right now so this is absolutely insane if you can get like five of these things going in your private mind dude this thing is gonna last for so long like this is insane we're already at 2.3 billion dollars i started at 2 billion dollars on the dot i'm pretty sure so we've gained 300 million dollars from literally doing this in for like four minutes but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and continue mining out this layer so we can get firebomb to spread all throughout this entire layer and uh yeah i guess i'll just bring you guys back if anything else cool uh happens all right guys so it's been about five minutes since the last clip and i can confirm that this is the number one method on the server and nothing even comes close bro we've mined out the entire server second layer and we've got the firebomb to spread to the whole thing it's just replacing all these blocks this is absolutely insane we have 650,000 blocks mined right now and uh keep in mind last clip we had like 350 400 and it's only been like five minutes since then we've made 700 million dollars so far i think we've made about a million tokens because i had or no uh, i actually don't know how much i had before i think 500k to a million we've probably made i'll have to double check that later i wish i came prepared to this with how many tokens we we're gonna make and stuff or i mean gold shards because i would have like made a spot in my entire inventory for all these gold shards but a lot of them are just going on the ground because i don't even have room for them and uh, if i try to sell all quick my inventory doesn't yeah like my inventory fills up way too quick to like spread out the shards in here so i'm only picking up shards in my inventory but it, yeah, I mean, this backpack has 11,000 blocks of storage and it sells every three seconds and it still cannot keep up with how fast these blocks are breaking. Like, this is absolutely insane. I've never seen a strategy like this. We're already at 710,000 blocks mined. And look at this. My mana has only gone down like 10 since the last uh, clip I made, which was five or six minutes ago. Six minutes now because I've been recording for a minute. So yeah, I don't know how long this hot streak is going to last for. I was told about an hour uh, and oh my gosh, the flash mine just started. I want to see if I'm going to win the flash mine. Right now we're cooking, dude. We literally have double everybody else. I've never won a flash mine in first place before. I've got like second before. But I've never got first. This is going to be crazy. Dude, we are smoking the whole server, bro. 20. Dude, I literally have five times what everybody else has. This is insane. And there is no sign of this slowing down anytime soon. This only will slow down once either my private mine goes out. Obviously, because the mine will get deleted and I'll get sent back. Or if uh, my hot streak's disabled. And I'm still at 60 mana. So we're chilling, dude. But yeah, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go down a little bit further again. And we are going to go ahead and try to get another row started here. And uh, yeah, I just want to keep... And oh, I had it. But okay, never mind. We're going to try to get a third row started here and uh yeah we i think we got this flash mine in the bag we are just smoking everybody the next closest person is like twenty thousand blocks we're almost 70 so yeah we should have this one in the bag boys what the heck i don't know what just happened but i spoke way too soon wait this is really bad i don't know what just happened but something happened and all of my firebomb went away so that is not good what the heck wow okay i spoke way too soon on that so i'm gonna take this as a opportunity to like sort out my inventory so i have enough room to like hold shards and stuff okay there we go that should be good uh i'm gonna have to get a new row started then that's so unfortunate i don't know what just happened but literally this is like a minute later and uh this is all just got ruined which is so annoying bro boys this is our chance to get another fire bomb to start here it's been so cooked i only have like a little bit of mana left but once this uh tnt explodes i think another one should hopefully start because it's on this layer why is it still not going off this one's taking forever i don't know what's going on is this one like bugged or something this is like happened so many times where they just bug and don't blow up and then if i try to break it nothing happens so i feel like that's gonna happen bro oh no that was a different one dude oh my gosh okay i'm just gonna try to break it because it yeah see like they bug out that's so annoying bro i don't know what i did we have 15 mana left but i like got this ultra cooked bro i don't know what happened but my firebomb just completely messed up on both rows everything stopped working dude oh my gosh i had like 60 mana left too bro we would have broke millions of blocks we're at 850,000 when it stopped working oh man we did get a good 30 minutes out of the trigger finger hot streak it took me 30 minutes to mine about a million blocks uh we got about a billion dollars out of that which isn't too bad we got like a million tokens i think but i mean if you're really looking at it we probably had the firebomb thing going for maybe 10 minutes so if you did it for a full 60 minutes and uh you didn't mess it up somehow like me i don't even know how that happened i don't even think it's something that i did i didn't even do anything Thing. i was just mining and then all of a sudden i stopped here and all the blocks being broken i was like what the heck but if it didn't glitch out or you didn't mess it up like i did then you could probably get a billion dollars about every 10 minutes by doing this method correctly tokens wise i'm not really sure and that's before you saw all your lucky blocks like this is from literally like 10 minutes of working i got all these shards all these lucky blocks like 
you could sell all that for a ton of money as well and just make sure you're gonna have shulker boxes to fill all this stuff up with because your inventory is gonna get filled up with all this stuff make sure you have your inventory sorted too so like gold charts kind of everywhere i like i do right now so they actually don't go and just drop all on the ground because if your inventory gets filled up with the blocks i mean gold shards and um uh lucky blocks they don't go into your backpack so you know kind of uh you need to fill up your inventory like this with it oh we got a little bit of firebomb going here okay uh well it doesn't really matter we have five mana left this is like the first little bit i've gotten back this is so dumb bro right when i have five mana left oh that's unfortunate if only i had like a full mana refill voucher or something but once we like ran out of mana for this to work it finally starts going again this is so dumb but at least you guys kind of got the idea on how this method works uh i would hope you did because we had it going for quite a while but yeah you just need to get the fire to spread like this mine in rows and then mine once you have the entire layer road out so it's like perfectly flat here just go like 20 blocks down and then do another one and just try to get as many as you can and then make sure you're using a sacred backpack so it gives you back mana for all those blocks broken and uh yeah that's pretty much a strategy you're gonna obviously need trigger finger hot streak nothing else you don't want any other hot streaks because trigger finger hot streak like i said earlier it'll uh, automatically replace every single block 100 percent of the time that is broken by firebomb so makes it super overpowered and yeah like literally what happened here i don't know i literally have no idea you guys see what just happened like all the blocks got broken now oh never mind that's because my hot streaks went away so it didn't replace them that time okay gotcha that's why that happened but yeah i mean we made quite a bit of money from that we started with literally like two billion dollars on the dot and now we're at 2.94 billion so almost a full billion dollars from this tokens i have no idea what i started with but we're at 11.1 million before i know i had a 10 something before so i'm gonna guess like between 500k and a million tokens and a whole lot of gold shards and lucky blocks so we're gonna go ahead and sort these all at our plot really quick just to show you guys everything that we got so we'll put all these gold shards in uh shulker boxes i have more in my pv here holy crap yeah we got like a full shulker of shards and keep in mind this is from like 10 minutes like you guys gotta understand this this would be so much more overpowered if it actually worked for the whole time which is so unfortunate it didn't we got a shulker full of lucky blocks and then two extra stacks and then almost a full shulker of gold shards from basically 10 minutes of this strategy working so yeah once you guys hit prestige three i think that's when you unlock firebomb once you get firebomb you can actually do this strategy so yeah you're gonna want to overmax though uh backpack auto sell otherwise it's kind of mid because it's just you're gonna drop everything if you only have it here it's every eight seconds you need it every three seconds but yeah definitely a strategy worth trying out and doing every single time you mine is getting that private mine and just going crazy definitely a good strategy